welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry, it's been quite a little bit of time since I have uploaded a video and the reason for that is actually the thing you see behind me. I have totally redone my background and I don't know how long it's going to stay like this because I'm kind of feeling meh about the whole thing, but surprisingly this took a quite a bit of time to complete. So. That is why I've been gone, because I didn't want to film anything until I had the new background and then I finally got the background and I'm like, oh, I was hoping this would be better. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I've been. I did, however, film the entire process of me creating this. If that's a video you want to see, then comment down below and let me know, because half of me is like, ooh, I don't know if I want to post this because I'm just, ugh. I don't know, I feel like it could have gone so much better and it just didn't. If you do want to see it, comment down below and let me know because I don't know if I want to upload it at this point in time. <laughs> Today I have for you guys a huge Ulta haul. I actually went to Ulta the other day twice. I ended up going two times because I was on the hunt for a particular thing and they didn't have it either time. And yet I still ended up spending way too much money while I was there not buying the thing that I originally wanted. So um, I thought I'd show you guys what I got. So the first couple things that I walked past and I was like, oh my God, I need all of these were the NYX Matte Lipsticks and the Soft Lip Cream. So I actually ended up getting quite a few of these. I only got one of the matte lipsticks in the color Hippie Chic, and Hippie Chic is kind of this very light coral color, and it's it's a beautiful, beautiful color. But um, there's something about the formula that I am not the biggest fan of, actually. It doesn't smell fantastic, and it's just kind of a meh product to me. Um, kind of like my background. I only ended up getting one of these because when I walked past them, um, none of the colors really stood out to me like the soft matte lip creams did. So these are more of what I'm excited about. This is what they look like. They are kind of a gloss. Um, it comes out just like a gloss except the really cool thing about both these and the lipstick is that they dry completely matte. There's no shine whatsoever. and. There, I don't know, there's just something about that look that I find really, really cool. So the first color I got was the color Istanbul. Um, also, something I like about all of these colors is they're all places, which is pretty, pretty cool. So um, Istanbul, I had to get Istanbul mainly because I've been to Istanbul and it's like my favorite place in the entire world. So I was like, well, I have to get the color Istanbul. Um, but I did actually like the color, so it wasn't just because I liked the name. The color in the tube actually looks kind of like a nude color with a peachy undertone. However, when it comes out on the tube, it's definitely a lot darker. But quite honestly, I am all about color on my lips. I love wearing all different kinds of colors, so I'm not actually disappointed with that. The second color I got was San Paolo, which ver looks very, very similar to Istanbul, actually, except it's a few shades darker. So just imagine Istanbul, but like just a few shades darker, like I just said. <laughs> the third color I got was Prague, and this definitely has more of a berry undertone than the other two did. It's about the same tone as Prague, but it's definitely more of like a purpley berry color. The fourth color I got, which is one of my all-time favorites because I love how bright it is, is Adidas Ababa. Yeah, Adidas Ababa, which is, if you didn't know, the capital of Ethiopia. Adidas Ababa is like a Barbie pink. I absolutely adore it and it's just such a fun color to wear. Another amazing thing about these lip creams is that they are all super, super opaque. They are pigmented like crazy. I don't find that I need to wear concealer on top of my lips to wear these beforehand. I just kind of put them on and they come out super, super pigmented. This also goes for Adidas Ababa, which I see colors like this and half the time they are not as strong or pigmented as I want them to be, but this one certainly is, so love this color. The fifth color I got is Copenhagen, which is, we're getting a little bit darker now. Um, if you are familiar with the color Black Cherry by Revlon, which is another one of my favorite colors, Copenhagen looks super similar to that. It has a little bit more of a berry, again, more of a purple undertone than even Black Cherry does. Black Cherry is definitely in the purple family. It definitely looks very vampy, but even when I like when I put it on, it's it has more of a reddish undertone than Copenhagen does. Copenhagen certainly has a very purple undertone and it's just, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's divine. It's divine. The sixth color I got, which is one of these colors that I got just to get it. I don't know 
where I'm gonna wear it and if you guys watch our vlogs at all if you're subscribed to the vlog channel which is always in the description bar below I get a lot of comments talking about my lips because I wear bright colors I wear dark colors I love wearing color on my lips this one this color I'm a little scared to try because it is so dark. It is called Transylvania, which is seems appropriate, honestly. Um, and if I compare it to Copenhagen, you'll see that it is even darker than Copenhagen. It is almost black, but it has it's it's not black red. It's definitely black purple. So again, it's a very purpley berry undertone color, but it is dark. It is crazy, crazy dark. So I'm excited to try it. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it yet, but. I'm excited for it. And the last color I got, which is one of the ones that I went into Ulta the first time and they didn't have this color because everybody got it. And the second time I went in, I got the last one. And this color is called Monte Carlo and it is the perfect red. Like, really, really red. It has a blue undertone. It has cool undertones, which makes your li or your uh, teeth look a little bit whiter um, and works really, really great for cool undertoned people like myself. I'm about as white and pale and cool undertoned as you can get. But this color works fantastically for me and I completely adore it. All right, I was gonna say moving on from lip stuff, but as it turns out, I got a few more lip things that are not these, but I actually got three lip liners. Um, they're all by NYX and I got them in the color Plum, the color Pinky, or yeah, Pinky, and the color Hot Red. And I got all three of these at the same time I was getting these lip colors because I was like, I don't know if these are gonna, you know, need a lip liner at all, if I can make it look really crisp on my lips. Um, I got these just in case and I find that I don't necessarily need them with these colors, but sometimes it's just nice to have a couple lip liners, so I got a few. Now we're moving on from lips. I picked up NYX's or NYX, whatever you want to say. I don't know if it's actually NYX or if it's NYX. So you should let me know. I kind of think it's one of those like tomato, tomato, same sort of thing. I know what you're talking about, but I, I'm not positive. A NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencil in milk. I used to have one of these. I have no idea what happened to it, so I just got one to kind of replace the one that I had. You've probably seen this book before, but if you haven't, um, these kind of go on top of your eyelid or in the inner corner or on your eyebrow um, as a highlight pretty much anywhere you want them to go. It brings a lot of light into that spot and just makes the colors that you might put on top of it, for example, if you're putting it on your lid, it makes those colors seem a little bit more bright. It also gives the eyeshadows you might be applying kind of a tacky base to stick onto, so um, I don't know, it's always just kind of nice to have one of these around. I also got two NYX blushes. Um, one is a cream blush in the color Glow, and I am actually not a huge blush wearer. I'm trying to kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit and apply a little bit more. Um, I am so pale that sometimes I put on blush and it just looks really overwhelming. So I've always just kind of shied away from blush, but now I'm like, eh, if I'm gonna wear Transylvania on my lips, I can totally wear hot pink things on my cheeks as well. So I'm diving into the world of blush. Another blush I picked up was the NYX Baked Blush in Spanish Rose. This is also a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, it does have a little bit of shimmer, but honestly, it's very, very subtle. I it, I have a hard time even having this color show up. Maybe it's just my skin color that it just kind of... It, it's, it looks very, very natural, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And the last thing I got is actually a sunscreen. Now, I don't know if you guys know on this channel, I mention it in passing on the vlog channel, but I'm actually allergic to sunscreen, and it's a problem because we live to, we moved to Las Vegas, I cover myself pretty, pretty well, um, but there's, Las Vegas is hot compared to Washington, let's just be honest, and I know that I'm gonna be dying if I don't cover my, if I uh, have to cover myself up every single day this summer, so I needed, I'm trying to find a sunscreen that works for me. So I picked up the Cerave one because I really trust the Cerave brand. I use their moisturizer, I use their face wash, I use everything Cerave. That company is incredibly well informed and they make they make incredible products. And so I wanted to try their sunscreen. I actually heard really mixed reviews about this sunscreen after I brought it home that it gives a very significant white cast. I guess I'm sort of hoping that the sunscreen won't really either give me that much of a white cast or it won't matter if I have a white cast because maybe I'm so white that it won't make a difference. I don't know if that's true. I guess we're gonna just kind of find out. So I've used this a few times now. I'm actually wearing it today and it seems to be working just fine. 
Not that that would make a difference now because I'm inside and it's almost nighttime. I'm definitely gonna have to use this a little bit more before I can give a definitive yay or nay on it. All right, so that's actually my whole haul. I kind of thought I had more to show you guys, but it turns out that I don't, so. Oh, something exciting that I did not actually mention at the beginning of this video. Um, me and Blake actually opened up a P.O. box, and the reason we primarily opened it up was because we wanted to write you guys letters, and we wanted to kind of be pen pals with you guys. So from now on, if you look in the description bar below, you will find our address where you can send us some letters. So, um, we're really, really psyched about that. I think, honestly, I'm more psyched than Blake is about that, but... And, and we announced it more on our vlog channel than we did on this channel, but I do want to kind of, like, interact with you guys more, and if you do find yourself wanting to write us letters at all, then just do so, because I really, really want to connect with you guys, and I just think that's so cool. So, like, you know, we live in a day and age where I can literally send you guys letters. I just realized how silly that sounds because way back when people would be like, oh my gosh, I can send people emails. And then now we get emails all the time and they're not exciting, but a letter is super exciting. So that's just kind of ironic, I guess. <laughs> so I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. Bye.